So we're at the beach at Paradiso de Oro in Cuba. Hogin Province, Cuba. It's about 7.30 in the morning. It's uh, calm and humid. I'm going to say 30 degrees Celsius, about that. I just put uh, our towels down to save some chairs. You have to do that here. There's a limited supply of chairs on the beach, at least good ones, with shade. And you have to get down here early in the morning to reserve them. So that's what I've done. So Paradiso de Oro is a, a resort in Hogin Province, Cuba. Tourist resort. And right ahead of us is the, that would be the beach restaurant. Uh, they open about 12.30, you can get um, grilled chicken, grilled fish, you can get a hamburger, there's various other things, beer. Morning. Morning. Have some guests going down for a walk, people go for walks in the morning. It's interesting thing here on this rail, this rail goes all the way down here and you can see it down there. They got hearts with people's names in it, the date, 2013, 2014, uh, 2216, that must be the month, you know, 22, I haven't seen 2007. Anyways, we're gonna go up here. We're going to take a walk to the lobby from the beach. Morning. Morning. This is the beach. I mean, uh, this is the pool. It's a dual level pool. And you have to get down here early to get a reserve a decent chair by the pool. Morning. The pool has a bar. The guys are up early today. Clean it up. It's one of those bars you can swim up to. Swim up bar, or you can walk down to it. Yesterday it was pretty, pretty packed pool. There's a pool restaurant over there. You can get drinks and food, hamburger, grilled chicken sandwich. It's nice here right now, it's not too hot. The birds are singing. Let's go over here. This is a sort of a pool or an activity center. You exchange your beach towels here. We have uh, volleyball nets and the giant chess set, pool table, ping pong table.
beautiful landscaping. They have structures here. Tell these just contain water that's been drained. A lot of the water features are off and drained. So since we've been here, we've had a water failure where we couldn't flush the toilets. And last night there was a short power failure for about 15 minutes. So the whole resort is made up of these two-story buildings. Each one has about, I'm gonna say, 12 units or maybe eight or 16, let's see, eight per side. So that'd be 16 units. We're in building 1217 or building 12. That's building 41. It's building 42. These big imperial palms, or royal palms, quite the majestic tree. They have these, uh, the staff running around on these electric powered vehicles. Some are passenger carriers. So we're approaching the lobby area, the lobby bar area. The El Patio, it's one of the a la carte restaurants. One of the few water features still operating here. Nice. Here's the service desk or lobby desk. Sort of a weather exchange rate. It's the front of the it's the front of the resort. Have a small gift shop. We have a Kind of an office where you go to book your a la carte. Lobby bar. There's the uh, entertainment or show area. restaurant here is 
the Mediterranean, one of the a la carte's. And this is the Japanese restaurant, another one of the a la carte's. So there's another part of the resort goes up that road. It's kind of higher end. They have their own pool, bars, restaurant, beach. Hold on. Can I go across here? See a guy fishing down there. Two guys fishing. There's another guy fishing over there.